Welcome to this new video. In this video, we will be dealing with selected value, that is a DAX function. So what is the importance of selected value and the usage we will discuss in this video. So selected value, what it returns the value when the context of the column name has been filtered down to the one distinct value. Otherwise, it returns an alternate result. So what does that mean? So here we are using selected value. So if selected value of calendar year is 2018, then you need to do certain things. You need to uh, print the cost of 2008. Otherwise, you can just leave. So what this table will do is that it will filter of course, you know, is another table that will be using the filter context. Order. So first it will filter. When it filters this first row, the selected value of the year will be checked. So here the selected value will be 2007. So when it checks, it is not the mentioned 2018. So it will print this three stars. The next one, the next row, when it comes, the selected value will be 2018. So when it comes to 2018, it will check and the year will be matching and it will filter the sum of sales according. Same way, when it comes to the third row, the selected value will be 2019. So in this way, it will get the value with respect to the year. So that's how selected value works. And another way of selected value, how it works is, of course, if you are selecting a slicer, and if you are selecting a value in the slicer, so that time also the filter context will be on place and whichever value you select, that will be stored in the selected value. That will be taken as the select. So now one good advantage of taking is the selected value is to write the title of any visual. So you when you when you go to the visual and if you select the title of visual, you can see a function option there. And if you select the function, you can select a measure and you can place it in the heading. So in the measure, you can write it as selected value. So whenever whichever slicer you select or whichever filter you get selected, that filter, that value will be stored in the selected value and that will that can be shown. So now we have selected here 2021. So this 2021 will be placed in this selected value. This measure is written in a way that, okay, here the selected value has been placed and uh, these two places, they have hard coded the value. So we can see an example of that. So here we have taken the year and the total cost. We have the fact table and the calendar table. We have the year and the total cost. So now we will create a measure so that we can see in 2019, what is the cost with respect to the fiscal, not with respect to the total cost, with respect to the fiscal year. So we will be checking the 2019 then we have to show it in the table. So we can check by using the selected value because the select in all the rows, the selected value will be checked. So we can create a measure like this. So the measure will start as initial cost for selected year equals to, we can write it as if selected year, selected value of calendar date dot year because we have written here this calendar this is from the calendar date dot year. calendar dot year equals to 2019 then what we need to do then we need to get the total with respect to the fiscal so we can write a calculate function for that because why we need to write the calculate function is that we are going to write the fiscal year only for 2009 so you need to have a filter console we are going to use the calculate function so calculate total cost where you can write the filter where calendar dot fiscal year is to 2009. So now we came back to the if loop and we will close the if loop. If this is not correct, then we will just type it as the asterisk. So it is simple. If it is a selected one, if the selected value is 2019, then it will just show the fiscal year sales of 2000. We will select it here. So we can see exactly. So there is no need for us to filter. In a table, it will filter itself and it will get the selected value 2019 and it will show whatever value we need. So this is one way we can use the selected value. So we will see another way to use the selected value. Another way is that here, this is a slicer. And what we are going to do in this slicer is we will select the physical layer in this slicer. So all the physical years have come in this slicer. And whenever we select a physical year, in this visual, the title should be shown. In this visual, what we are going to do is we will select the date and we will select the total cost. So in this visual year, uh, this text title is shown. In this visual as the title, we need to write the selected year in the title. So if you are selecting 2020, you need to show it here, okay, value still 2020 or the total sales to physical year 2020. 20, you need to show it in the title. So how can you, you can do it? We can create a measure for that. Create a measure and we can write it as type official title equals to total and need to write it inside 
core total sales up to space you need to write and here we can put an ampersand this word joining and then we need to select a value and select a value and this is the official year which we have given in the slicer and then once again you can give an ampersand and give it as official this is the measure we have created you can select this visual go to the pro- formatting properties go to general title you can take and get the text function and field value and here you can select the measure for that and this is the official title So you can select okay the total sales up to 2000 and now you can see total sales up to 2021 so you can see here also the filter is applied 2021 for this fiscal year means okay 2020 also so 22 2018 etc so these are the two ways which we can use the selected value there are other ways also now in this video we are seeing just two ways to show the selected value first i have shown this table to make you an understanding of how the selected value works and then the second one of course we have selected with respect to the filter context using a slicer and we have used the selected value here as the, as the title hope this was an interesting video have a nice day